Some iPhone owners say they want Apple to pay for slowing down older phones. The tech giant is facing multiple lawsuits after it admitted that it slows down older models. Apple has come under fire in recent weeks for its decision to slow down older iPhones with degraded batteries. But it wasn't just the actions that got Apple in hot water. What really irked consumers is that Apple did it without telling anyone or providing a way to opt out of optimization features. Now Apple CEO Tim Cook has relented saying users will be able to turn off the power management features. Apple's PR nightmare began a year ago with the release of iOS 10.2.1. That was the first version of the OS that checked battery health and made changes to system performance when a battery was not working well. All lithium-ion batteries lose some voltage as they age and Apple found that some of its phones were unable to keep the high power CPU cluster powered as the batteries got old. The solution was to throttle performance on these devices to prevent unexpected shutdowns. After months of increasingly frustrated complaints from iPhone users, benchmarking firm Geekbench poured over its data and confirmed that yes, newer versions of iOS had introduced throttling without telling anyone. Apple is currently defending itself against several lawsuits related to the incident. It has also offered to replace the battery in any affected iPhone for $29. A new battery resets the optimization settings, returning a device to full performance. Apple had already said that a future iOS update will give users more insight into the state of their battery. In an interview with ABC News, Tim Cook was asked for his take on Apple slowing down iPhones with degraded batteries. He revealed that the developer beta including these features will be released next month, with a public release to follow after. Moreover, he says that this forthcoming update will give users the option to disable the throttling to maintain normal CPU performance, but will be at risk of unexpected shutdowns. All batteries age over time, and they become unhealthy at a point in time. And, and an unhealthy battery has a probability that it will create an un, a unexpected restart. And so you can imagine uh, if you're making an emergency call. We, we always focus on the user experience. We felt it would be better to take something off of the performance to prevent that from happening. And so when we did put it out, we did say what it was, but I don't think a lot of people were paying attention and maybe we should have been clear as well. well. We're also going to, in a first in a developer release that happens next month, we're going to give people uh, the visibility. We will tell somebody who's saying, you know, we're slightly reducing or we're reducing your performance by some amount uh, in order to not have an unexpected restart. And if you don't want it, you can turn it off. In its public apology letter on Apple.com regarding the iPhone slowdown debacle, Apple described the update in the following way. Early in 2018, we will issue an iOS software update with new features that give users more visibility into the health of their iPhone's battery, so they can see for themselves if its condition is affecting performance. This implied an announcement of the battery screen in iOS settings to include more information about the iPhone's battery health and whether users were being subjected to Apple's advanced power management throttling. It did not say anything about Apple giving users the choice to disable battery throttling, so either Tim Cook misspoke or he is sharing new details. We will know soon. A developer beta in February probably means a public release of this update will be available in March. What?